If you stop for gas on your way out of downtown Louisville on I-65 South, well, you're going to have to find somewhere new by the end of the month. Thornton's is closing its longtime Food Mart and gas station at First and Broadway. It was their only gas station in downtown Louisville. Take a look right here. The closure will leave a gap near the interstate, but there's still a few other options within a mile, like Bader's right downtown. Also, there's a BP and a Platinum Food Mart. WHS 11's Ian Hardwit and photojournalist Emma Gefter report on the location's history and how people nearby are responding. At this busy intersection, Thornton's is one of downtown's few gas stations and food marts. It's in the heart of JCTC's campus and in the shadow of Wayside Christian Missions Hotel Louisville. The gas station windows say, you belong here, but they won't be there long. Medical student Malad Murbad could be filling up here for the last time. He's on clinical rotation at Norton Hospital, so Thornton's is his most convenient spot to fuel up. So I can basically let it just go to the bottom and then just the red lights on and then I can just make sure that, oh, this is the closest one, so it's not going to be a problem for me. A Thornton spokesperson confirmed it for us on Tuesday. This location at First and Broadway will close February 26th. They didn't give us a reason why, but I looked at LMPD crime data over the last year and it showed there were 34 total crimes in that time, 18 were assaults, 7 were thefts, and 3 were robberies. In 2022, a security guard working at the gas station shot and killed someone over a stolen beer, claiming self-defense. Tavon Parrish pled guilty to the crime and was sentenced to six and a half years in prison for manslaughter. About a block away at Vocal Kentucky's drop-in clinic, they offer houses people anything they can. Bigfoot, an alien, it's whatever. This bathroom is open for Without you. public restrooms nearby and Thornton's moving out, the clinic's one of the only places for people to get off the street in the area. Pony Morris believes the city should stop camp clearings and start offering services at places like Thornton's where houseless people are seen struggling. We know that there's a mental health crisis out there. We know that there's houseless out there. Um, and I believe that Thornton shouldn't have to close down for our city to finally, hey, take a look. We have an issue. The city's community care campus, meant to provide shelter to 34 people at a time and other outreach services, will be a half mile away when it opens. In Louisville, Ian Hartman, WHAS 11, on your side. Well, the news comes as two other companies are leaving downtown. That's Humana and Fifth Third Bank. By the way, we did contact the mayor's office for comment about the closing. Here's what Pat Malloy of the Cabinet for Economic Development told us. First and foremost, we hope this, along with the Broadway All the Way project, will increase safety around the intersection. We are optimistic the property will help create a true gateway into downtown and complement the significant and exciting investments we are seeing in the heart of our city.